Hello everyone. Welcome to Selenium with Java training. I'm Shan. I will be the training coordinator and or your mentor for this particular course. And in this course, we are going to use Java API to explore the Selenium opportunities. So before we begin uh, the complete program, this is just a demo session and uh, I would like to walk through the agenda of today's session. First, uh, we would like to introduce who we are and uh, what we are, what's our experience and the skill set that we bring along. And then we will talk about a little bit of automation testing and uh, why Selenium. And finally, we will wrap up this uh, short demo session with the program overview. So to come to the first part of the session, today's session is who we are. So I'm Shan, having more than a decade experience in the field of software testing and uh, been providing various uh, training and mentoring sessions and also talks, uh, published white papers and uh, specialized in um, automation and performance testing while also have special interest in security testing. and. Uh, we have decided to launch uh, the um, training programs which will help uh, the beginners or uh, intermediate uh, or skill set with uh, intermediate uh, people who like to take uh, the software testing career to the next level. So, so we have come with an idea of uh, launching Selenium as the very first course and we will be um, exploring all the other opportunities within uh, the complete IT industry not just restricting ourselves to the software testing domain. So right now we have uh, seen uh, many things um, or many tools in the market that keeps pitching every now and then and uh, we will just uh, have a quick snapshot or why automation testing or why it has come into picture and why it is disrupting the market right now. So the game has changed. It's no longer um, manual testing versus automation. It's all um, test engineering. Um, so companies have moved away from conventional software testing to test engineering, meaning um, who is capable of doing a blend of programming also of uh, testing along with that bringing the value add to the company as well as to the product that is under test and uh, just to highlight this particular point we keep getting one or the other tool in the market that keeps popping every now and then so Many companies are now moving towards the open source market on cloud-based platforms to provide their solutions um, much better when compared to how it used to be a decade back. And uh, the software industry is now uh, moving towards the continuous integration methodology, which is purely an agile based, um, meaning every build is continuously tested in the background. Every build that is checked in by the developers, it is uh, being checked for its uh, quality as a complete smoke test or regression or usually it's all scheduled via continuous integration tools, which is more for, uh, and also this concept called DevOps that's revolving around development and operations who can handle uh, both development and bit of testing. What's the final output of all of these? Of course, companies focus on reducing the operating cost in a long run. Uh, automation helps uh, much better. Uh, when you see the final outcome um, in terms of the benefits, we have a very good return on investment over a longer period of time. We have, uh, we can rely on these automated uh, test builds, which is going to be the uh, regression pack or a smoke test pack which runs on every build. It protects the build or the complete product from having any adverse side effects of introducing new functionalities. Apart from that, 
if you see on the right hand side which obviously I want to mention uh, companies focus on scope cost and time without compromising on any of these if you want to deliver a product or a software uh, definitely automation is the way to go we need to automate as much as we can when I say automation it's not just testing part of it automation from dev side automation from test side automation from deployment side of things and also automation from maintenance perspective as well so the complete software industry is moving um, towards this automation platform and uh, in particularly we will talk more on automation testing in the days to come coming to the next part of uh, today's agenda that is why selenium so what is the reason for us to choose selenium as our very first course launch is that it's rocking at the moment so there is no doubt this particular open source is really a disruptor in the software testing industry um, it, um, a decade back or even I would say maybe five years uh, ago QTP for is rocking the market so there was no alternate or there was uh, no much alternate for the enterprise solution providers who were just looking for HP UFT right now whereas things have changed companies started uh, thinking about their investment perspective and also the returns so open source is really really rocking the software testing industry and also tools comes every now and then there are a lot of tools every now and then there is a tool that comes out of the market and they claim to be the best tool and every tool claims claim themselves as the best tool however we will talk selenium uh, what's good about selenium or the perspectives of selenium has every software testing jobs that are posted on any of the job platforms uh, ask for selenium as the skill set so latest uh, is selenium version 3 so what is that version 3 all about we will definitely discuss um, once we start our, our live sessions and selenium as you all know the one of the key reasons uh, is the cross browser capabilities it supports um, IE, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, Edge and whatnot so all of these browsers can be handled effectively by one piece of code that you are going to write so that is the magic that's going to create so definitely it is rocking and uh, you can also script using various languages you can use a complete uh, um, oops using Java and C sharp now you can it also supports Ruby Python JavaScript PHP and Perl whereas PHP and Perl are developed by third party not exactly by Selenium HQ however you can extend those to write your scripts so these are one of the key reasons why Selenium is definitely a must for every software testing professional and Selenium is not just one tool it is a set of tools and uh, it we all know like Selenium IDE is uh, um, similar to a UI uh, identification element where you can record what you are doing where it captures the properties of the object and you can uh, automate or uh, very small things it, you cannot it's not a completely a scalable solution but IDE you can just play with it and it uh, ID is, is supported only by Firefox whereas Selenium web driver is what we have been talking about uh, for quite some time it's the exact automation uh, API is what the right terminology to use so we will use the Selenium web driver APIs to automate using Java and Selenium grid is again one of the tools of within Selenium, um, Selenium set of tools and uh, it is used for cross browser functionality testing uh, and also you can use it as a parallel executor you can execute 
um, your tests one on IE one on Chrome and one on Firefox at the same time from the same system and it's called parallel execution or ability to execute your tests parallelly using your selenium grid and finally selenium is also the um, tool that you can use to automate your mobile applications using the API called APM which is again an extension of selenium so it was built on top of selenium APM is the tool that is currently available to automate both Android and iOS applications and again it's one of the um, leading uh, open source automation tools or automation ap um, API that's available to automate mobile applications right so these are all the key factors that uh, pushes every software testing professional to learn and understand the basics of selenium and also to contribute to the automation platform uh, when, when assigned to a particular project so let's talk about the program overview so let's say if you are a beginner or if you are having a basic understanding but not an expert you are just on in between a starter and intermediate definitely it's a program that you should definitely join and uh, get benefited and we are going to use Java as our programming language uh, do not worry about it if you have uh, codophobia what I mean is that if you have fear of writing code um, I was in the same situation a decade back when I started my career in software testing and was struggling to write a piece of code but perseverance and also the interest um, will definitely put you in the right place so do not worry about it we are here to help to the level that we can and of course your interest is what going to take you to the greater heights and we will exactly start from ground zero that's what I mean so we will start from basics from scratch uh, nothing to worry about no prerequisites and most importantly uh, we will talk about what to focus and what not to focus many times what I have noticed is that uh, especially people who would like to contribute on automation they focus they start learning the programming language and there is no end to learning any kind of programming language and if you fall into that pitfall you will never ever be able to contribute towards automation testing you should definitely know the depth of the programming knowledge required and we are here to exactly guide you to the topics that are relevant for you to contribute to any kind of frameworks that are in use across the corporates and we are not going to just take some dummy application and start automating it straight away we are going to use the real-time examples use cases and in particularly we are going to use the enterprise applications as our um, examples and uh, that is really going to make a lot of difference when compared to what you see in the markets right now and uh, most importantly we are targeting what the industry needs so by taking the enterprise applications by also uh, starting from scratch and we will use Java as our programming language and definitely uh, the things that are required for you to focus is all delivered as part of the handouts and uh, notes and also the class files that we uh, develop as part of our day-to-day uh, -day sessions and automate with confidence um, we also provide on-job support um, in case if you need any help once you start automating in your um, company or in your organization and need a bit of help or hand, hand holding we are definitely here to help you so start um, enrolling with confidence and definitely um, this is going to make a lot of difference to your career 
moving on um, I would like to be very precise in what we are going to discuss in this program so first we will talk about the uh, selenium tool as such what are the components of selenium what's the architecture and what is the latest uh, selenium web driver uh, that is uh, um, that has brought the difference when compared to what it was providing in the previous versions when compared to previous versions what are the upgrades or uh, the major differences uh, that a software testing professional will experience and exactly what's required in Java basics so if you just um, buy a Java book or buy a Java course online it's uh, definitely little bit threatening or it's open-ended but we would like to stick to what exactly that we as an automation automation testing professional should understand uh, from the programming perspective so we'll start with the basics of Java a bit of syntax so what is an object class variables data types and more on the later parts such as loops decision making numbers strings arrays and methods and little bit of advanced concepts which are uh, definitely required for you to contribute um, towards creation of framework or even enhancing the framework so it's um, inheritance polymorphism all are exactly on the hoops side of things little bit advanced and uh, we will also talk about uh, the collections and uh, how to read and write from an excel sheet files exception handling etc so this particular snapshot whatever you are viewing right now is going to be the foundation for our selenium discussion uh, once we complete these uh, topics so once we complete these topics you should be in a position to understand the syntax or uh, familiarize with um, the uh, notations that we will be using uh, the sessions from then on let's say if I say we need to create an object or let's say if we are uh, creating an inheritance of this class or if we are just say instantiating a class you will definitely be able to understand what are these terminologies and what I am talking about once we complete these sections uh, each one of them as I have highlighted in this uh, slide we will be moving on to the core selenium aspects use the programming language as the base and use the full power of programming language to write our code the next set of things that we will definitely discuss is setting up a web driver uh, we'll try to write our first uh, script and then we will talk about the locators what are these locators what are the different kinds of locators how these um, locators helps us to find an element and its attributes and how exactly it helps us in automation perspective and then we will move on to navigation um, how to interact with your uh, graphical user interface elements different kinds of interface elements that we are aware of and um, also a little bit of uh, navigation browser navigation um, basic navigation as well as the advanced navigation such as drag and drop or um, handling the pop-ups alerts frames etc then we will talk about the cross browser for that we will we have to use selenium grid and um, how to run the scripts um, on different browsers and uh, what are the different drivers available for those browsers we will all discuss in detail then little bit of driver commands um, how to actually synchronize your uh, execution with uh, the uh, speed of execution with your um, speed of uh, your application so how to synchronize these two aspects and also then we will talk about a little bit of reusable components using the framework and then we will talk about test ng what the test ng is all about and how does test ng fits in the whole um, 
automation framework or automation side of things and how it exactly helps us to write better tests or how to write better um, frameworks develop better frameworks All right then we will talk about the build tools what is a build tool and in this case we are going to talk in particularly about maven and then uh, continuous integration the thing that i spoke in the beginning of the session jenkins is the continuous integration one other tool that is popular in the market is uh, team city but we will use jenkins for our uh, demonstration purposes but both are um, very similar to each other and uh, also um, how this continuous integration uh, helps in uh, finding the defects very early in the life cycle of the project and also we will talk in detail about the grids and finally we will uh, wrap up the whole course by demonstrating the different components of the framework and how effectively you can design your frameworks and little bit of uh, reusable functions and uh, develop a hybrid framework from scratch using all the um, time and effort that we spent in the previous sessions we can definitely develop a hybrid framework which can be scalable and you can use the same in your project or on the workplace where you are planning to do a proof of concept or trying to implement automation or trying to impress uh, with your automation skill set so um, this is what all I have for today's session and for more details um, please uh, drop a quick note to contact at the rate of quality learning dot in and uh, we are uh, here to help you um, hope I this session uh, will make a lot of difference and you will definitely be benefited with uh, this particular course uh, watch this space for more and uh, looking forward to have you all for the um, course that is going to start pretty soon and uh, please uh, look into the website for more details and uh, looking forward to uh, e-meet you all very soon thank you and have a lovely day